You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Today we're making smashed potatoes, which are the traditional food of the violent Irish. To make smashed potatoes, you're gonna need some small potatoes. These can be the kind you get in a jar. You can take bigger potatoes and smash them against the wall. You can also use couch potatoes, freshly fallen autumnal potatoes, or just steal some that were laid by a wild potato bird. Make sure to inspect your potatoes and remove anything that's cosmetically offensive. Ugh, gaudy. Now we'll wash those potatoes off, keeping in mind that some potatoes can be obscenely dirty. While boiling most vegetables should be illegal, we make an exception for potatoes because of their remarkable ability to have no flavor. So we don't have to worry about the water leaching the flavor out since it was never there to begin with. While our cauldron gets up to temperature, we'll start making our magical elixir. We'll start with this much olive venom, then add this much garlic powder, this much onion powder, this much smoked paprika, or chipotle powder, or something else red, this much salt, and this much pepper pepper pepper, then we'll wang jangle it for this amount of time time. You'll know your elixir is actually magic if your elixir coated wang jangler can do this. You see, it kept an evil spirit from appearing out of nowhere and haunting those potatoes. Once the potatoes are fork tender, they're good to go. That should take around 10 or 12 or 15 minutes. I'm not exactly sure, but your fork knows. Now we're going to strain the water out, and then we're going to put those potatoes under considerable strain. But first we'll throw the patatskis on the pan and then slather the pan with some olive grease for some reason. And now it's time to smash the potatoes with the bottom of a glass or with a wang jangler. You can use an espresso thing or a a power stone, fancy vase, potted plant, something cosmetically offensive, a jar of candied walnuts, a foam roller, a bigger potato, a far sexier potato. You can use the power of your mind or a very sturdy stick, or an electric kettle, which was a really bad idea if you're afraid of cleaning potato out of circuitry, which I am not. You can see in here that these potatoes weren't cooked enough when I smashed, which made them crumbly, so I snuck in this tray of professional stump potatoes to take their place. And now we're gonna drizzle, sprinkle, paint, and slap that elixir into the nooks and gaps, crannies, crevices, chasms, clefts, rifts, splits, crotches, and cracks. Then into the undo they gundo at 400 until they brundo. If 450 Fahrenheit is too hot for you, you can turn it all the way down to 232 degrees Celsius. And you're gonna wanna bake those until they get nice and golden brown and crispy. It's been around 40 minutes and they're looking pretty good. Now we'll just test and see how crispy they actually are. Oh, whoops, I forgot I had some chips in my hand here. Anyway, trust me, bruh, these potatoes not only taste good, they also taste delicious and they taste good. 